Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Hey, man. Hey, dude. What do you know about St. Paul's surveillance on campus? Well, I know they surveillance, uh, or they monitor the internet here, and, you know, it runs very fast because of it, and they do a great job of keeping intrusions and outsiders uh, from hacking in from the outside. But, you know, I think we could look into putting some security cameras in, in the hallways and whatnot to prevent stealings and that sort of thing. But back to the Internet, um, surveillance is basically used to ensure that employees follow the organization's Internet policy appropriately. Um, so, you know, they, they monitor the actions of students um, to ensure that our Internet runs smoothly. What can you see regarding the students' internet usage? I can see um, where they're located while using the internet on our wireless network. I can see um, how much bandwidth they're using. And I can see what protocols they're using to, uh, whether it be um, HTTP or HTTPS or another protocol for gaming. I can't see a live view of what that person is, is doing on their particular um, laptop out on the internet. The only way I could see that is if I actually take the user's laptop and uh, review the history. Okay. And how much do you actually monitor our internet usage? I only monitor internet usage if there's a problem. So things that I do monitor every day is um, connections from off campus to on campus. So I have to check our firewall every day to make sure there's, you know, there aren't any computers on our network that are being attacked from the outside. Um, I only monitor, for instance, if it seems like our internet is slow and people are complaining about it, and then I go ahead and verify that maybe there's one or two people on the network that are using too much bandwidth. Are there certain alerts you receive if a student is doing something illegal or taking up too much bandwidth? Um, not necessarily alerts. Our bandwidth as a whole, if it seems like it's, you know, maybe there's only 1% left. Um, then we probably would receive an alert. The only other alerts that we receive are from our internet service provider, our ISP, will let us know if there's a copyright infringement um, that someone has downloaded, maybe an illegal copy of a movie or music um, on our network. And then we do receive an alert from them, but it, we don't have any alarms that go off if someone's doing something wrong. Um, can you pinpoint who a user is, what site they're on, and where they're located? I can pinpoint uh, when, our, when a user is on our network. I can pinpoint where, um, how much data was downloaded, what website they did go to, and I can pinpoint um, pretty much pretty much anything. Um, the only thing I can't pinpoint is exactly what content was on their screen at that particular time. And the only way to do that is through logs. Um, I can't just pull up and say, "Hey, you know what was Austin doing today at, at 2 p.m." Um, I would have to go through a series of logs to be able to pull that data. Uh, do you think that internet surveillance is necessary considering our school is built on an honor system? Um, I wouldn't say we necessarily you know, do internet surveillance, but I feel like St. Paul's is pretty lenient uh, when it comes to you know, monitoring that we do have a really strong honor code here at the school, and I feel like um, we do do our best to get in front of the students and educate them as much as we can, and we're going to be improving on that as well. And I think that we, you know, it's important because when you do leave St. Paul's and you head to college, you need to know, you know, you know what is good, what is bad, what you can get to, um, what you shouldn't get to. So I feel like we do our best, and I think that a lot of schools lock it down completely, and they do watch everything the students are doing. We pretty much have the, the, you know, our philosophy is that we trust first and we hope that you abide by the honor code. And then, you know, if something does come up, and it does, then we go ahead and, and sort of investigate. Um, regarding the stealing of students' belongings recently, um, do you think that installation of security cameras around public spaces on campus is necessary? Um, I believe if it protects a student and it's and his or her property, I think it's a, a great idea. Um, I don't think the school's in a, a, a position where they could have, you know, a whole someone sitting in front of a desk with monitors, you know, monitoring anything. But I feel like if it's a preventive thing, as if something was stolen and then we could figure out who did steal it, um, or if there's an accident, but I, I don't think that it would be a good idea um, just for someone to sit there and watch student activity, I think it's an invasion of privacy. But if it's to prevent theft, 
um, I think it's a great idea. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so our school doesn't really, you know, monitor our internet unless there's a problem with speed or connection. And, you know, if there's an issue, then they, they can see location of a student, username, all that stuff, the website they're on. Uh, but they, they like to trust first. And, you know, they can pinpoint what we're downloading the current website, but they can't see a live view. Uh, you know, and they receive alerts for a copyright infringement. So let's see what Spencer says. What do you think about the tech department being able to look at what you're viewing on a daily basis? Um, I think it's fine that they're looking at what we're viewing as long as it's not, as long as we're not viewing stuff that will interfere with academics. Yeah. Have you ever done anything like <coughs> Use Netflix or Hulu to take up a lot of bandwidth. At school? Yep. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as far as the recent stealings are concerned, do you think that our school should put security cameras in the hallway? Uh, no, I do not think that. Would you like to elaborate on why? Uh, because our school should be run on trust and not cameras. Okay, so to wrap things up, uh, you know, I think the school should be run on trust and not cameras. I agree with Spencer there. Uh, the tech department trusts first, then they monitor and investigate if there's an issue, but it's not constant surveillance of what we're viewing on a daily basis. And I think they do a really good job of monitoring our network and blocking people from the outside trying to hack through the firewalls. And, you know, our, our internet runs very smoothly and swiftly.